at the absolute earliest. So, Shannon, now, given Aiton's deal, where do you see KD playing next season? Phoenix really screwed themselves. Had they given DeAndre Ayton this deal last year, Skip, guess what could have happened? Now you could have included him in a siding trade. Now it makes it more feasible or likely that you could trade for Kevin Durant. That's if the Brooklyn Nets want Mikael Bridges, want a Jay Crowder, DeAndre Ayton, and maybe a couple of draft picks. But because you waited, because you didn't think Ayton was worth that, he goes and signs this offer sheet with the Indiana Pacers. Now he can't be a part of any signing trade. He can't until, as Jen said, <laughs> January 15th. Mm -hmm. Now you kind of screwed. That's kind of on the back burner there. And so now it seems like Phoenix is off the table. Skip, from the very first time that Kevin Durant requested a trade, and you and I came out here, I think it was a Monday, I said, Skip, the team that has the pieces and that can offer Brooklyn everything that they could possibly want, given that there is a scenario that you're not getting pennies on the dollar, but maybe you can get 70 cents on the dollar, is the Golden State Warriors. And if you look at what they have, now, they have a pool, they have a Kaminga, they have a Wiseman, they have a Moody. Now, if they were, if Brooklyn were to uh, move uh, Ben Simmons, you could also include Andrew Wiggins in this deal. So now you get the, you get the, uh, the all-star player, you get the young talent, pool, Wiseman, Kaminga, Moody, possibly, and maybe a couple of draft picks. Now, the question is, and you don't believe Kevin Durant wants to go back to Golden State. I do not. But... At the end of the day, Brooklyn has to do... Brooklyn will not do Kevin Durant any favors. Maybe there was a time skip. Your San Antonio Spurs did DeJounte Murray. They said, we go into a rebuild, bro. Flat out, tear <laughs> it down, start it over. Skip, we don't want you to be... You, we believe you're too good of a player. We're going to do you a solid. Mm -hmm. We're going to trade you somewhere where we think you can benefit them. That is true. He did, they did that for mm -hmm. him. In this situation, I don't believe Brooklyn Nets will do Kevin Durant a solid. I believe they're going to take the best deal if one, was to, if one was to present itself sometime in the very near future. It looked, I mean, now everybody's talking, and we're going to talk about Jerry West, that they believe that Kevin Durant's going to probably end up playing at least this year in Brooklyn. Phoenix is off the table. Now you hear some rumors about Kyrie Irving and Kyle Lowry. Man, Brooklyn Nets, Brooklyn Nets do not want Kyle Lowry for no Kyrie Irving. And I don't want no Kyle Lowry, no Tyler Hero, no Duncan Robinson. Skip Duncan Robinson, you just gave him, what, $17, $18 million two years ago, and he became unplayable. So, Max Struess, what, what does that do for me if I'm giving up Kyrie Irving? Mm. Does nothing. So, Skip, at the end of the day, I still believe Golden State has the best package that can satisfy what Golden State want. Young, talented players and potential draft picks. That is the only team. Skip, if you check the landscape, now there might be other teams, but I don't know if Kevin Durant wants to go to Sacramento. I don't know if a team, uh, uh, he doesn't want to go to, OKC got what, like 17 first round picks. Skip, he don't want to go back to OKC. Mm. And OKC, are you going to be willing to give up, uh, say, a Josh Giddy or, or, or Shea Gilgis? Or do they want Chet Holmgren? I don't believe OKC is willing to give up those pieces and five, six, seven first-round picks to get Kevin Durant back. So for me, Skip, I'm going to hang in there. I've said it from the very first time that this happened. I believe it's the Golden State Warriors. So you believe he will wind up and play next year in Golden State? If Kevin Durant, if, if they're going to move him, and I still believe they do, he'll be playing with the Golden State Warriors. Okay. I will... <laughs> Repropose my bet to you. I I'll bet you 10 cases he doesn't wind up in Golden State. I'll do three. Three cases. Three cases. Done. Cases. Thank you very much. Okay, here's the problem for the Brooklyn Nets. I, I don't care what package you want to throw back. <laughs> if, if you want to do Wiseman and Kaminga and Moody or, or throw in Jordan Poole and Wiseman and Moody, or what, I don't know. If you want to throw either Clay or Draymond in with two younger players and some picks. It's still ain't Kevin Durant. No, 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 no. It's just not. It, it, you, you, the smoke clears and the Nets wake up and they say, "We're okay. You know, we're 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 decent, but but we're not what no, we were." No, you don't get Skip. You don't get true value yeah. for a superstar. Which is why I don't believe they want to trade Kevin at all. They don't. It, it's why from day one I told you what I would do if I ran that organization. <laughs> I would too just stubborn. Say, I, but I would just say, <laughs> Kevin, look. We love you, man. 
We'll do everything in our power to make you as happy as if you want to change coaches. I, I don't know exactly how much he signed off on Steve Nash. He did have a relationship with him, so mm -hmm. I, I, I guess he blessed it. Mm -hmm. But if, if, he's, if he thinks it didn't work, if he thinks Steve's not strong enough, if he thinks they need a more of a hard-driving coach, somebody who will stand up to Kyrie, I, change coaches. Yeah. But I believe this is what I would do. I would just tell him, Kevin, you signed for four more years, and you're here, whether you like it or not, whether your brother likes it or not. <clears throat> His brother tweeted back at me, hell with that and hell with you. Well, it was that Kevin that may come straight. That's almost like he used his brother to be a burner, right? <laughs> but the point is he'll get over it because Kevin doesn't have the kind of personality to pout to me. He hoops. He, he loves to hoop. He loves to, to work out. He, he doesn't get nearly enough credit because he doesn't post his workouts. But I believe he's just as driven as LeBron oh, is yeah, in the yeah, gym. Yeah, and no and, doubt about that. And all he wants to do, to your point, is I don't want to lead the team. I don't want to be the spokesman for the team. I just want to go hoop. I want to go play basketball. And he's at an advanced stage and age in his career where he, he can't not play basketball. He can't afford sort of psychologically, emotionally, or, or just age-wise, to sit a whole year and say, hell with you, I'm just going to sit. Right. You know, if that's what you're saying, if you're going to force me here, I'm not going to play. Right. Or I'll play and pout. It doesn't <clears throat> do him any good. It doesn't serve him for the, for, for the legacy, <clears throat> for the totality of his career to, to sit out or pout next year. So I don't know why they would crumble and trade him. They have to placate. <clears throat> they have to act like, well, we scoured the countryside right. for you. We, we tried, but their demands are clearly so high. It's like you said, you can make a demand so high that you know nobody's <laughs> going to meet it. <laughs> exactly. And, and even if they do meet your demands, it will never quite equal right. Kevin Durant. And then, why, Skip, if a team is able to, it's the Carmelo to the Knicks. Yeah. Melo want to go to the Knicks. But when they clean house, they get Melo. Melo looks around. He's like, well, damn. Nobody you sold me a house with nothing in it. That is it's correct. A, it's, a, it's an empty house. So now. So it was it was Melo's dream come true to go, go to New York. Yes. He was born in New York. And, right. And to play for the Knicks. Yes. And you're all by yourself. You all by yourself. Okay. All right. It was Russ's dream to come to the Lakers. And it turns out to his worst Mac, nightmare. Mac okay. So, it, look. The, the, the problem here is if you're the sons now, you, you did get stuck. And I agree with your premise. You could have paid him. It's the Dak concept. Yes. You, you could have paid Dak two years before, and, and you would have saved millions of dollars. You ended up having to pay him $75 million for one year with his bonus. And all right. told, it was $75 million that he made last year right. because you waited and waited, and you didn't have a good plan B. <laughs> right. And then he started to fail as he bet on himself. With Dak, and, and Jerry's saying, God, I, he's not worth it. Right. Well, same thing just happened with DeAndre Ayton. He is a very good player. He's not a great player. Right. And if you redrafted that draft, and he's only 23 now, but if you look back, they take a Luka, Luka, Luka went one. third, and I'm pretty sure he'd go one. Absolutely, right? he would go one.